So welcome everybody. This is the climate coaching action discussion. It's doing good versus avoiding bad. And uh, we want to welcome everybody in what we hope will be a great discussion about things that matter. Uh, um, you already know that this is being broadcast live on Facebook and it's been uh, recorded so you, we can share with you people that will might be missing the this uh, 55 minute session afterwards so first of all i'd like to say a few things and then i pass the mic to maureen and then we will open the discussion and uh, maureen will have to see him uh will have will have to will have more to say about this and uh, <laughs> okay so why this call um there's been an initiative which started from the coach at work magazine uh, the initiative and the initial idea was about establishing March 5 as the um, global uh, climate coaching action day every year. And um, why is that important? I think it's important for everybody that's joining this uh, uh, webinar today. Uh, and for me personally, uh, it's important because uh, we need to become aware of the being our responsibility, the responsibility that we hold for ourselves, our family, and the people that will come afterwards in the way that we treat ourselves and the planet and the environment. And we are aware of the climate crisis and the ecological crisis. And it's important for me to speak just for myself, and then everybody can speak for their own selves. It's important for me too because um, it's a great um, opportunity to come together. And um, as I'm speaking, I'm letting people get in the room and the Zoom room. Uh, so it's important for me because it will give the opportunity to everybody to come together and uh, create awareness for themselves and for the things that we can do together. And uh, so on the one hand, about the necessity of doing that and the responsibility on the other hand of what are the options, the possibilities to make a positive impact. Now, I will hand off the microphone to my great friend and colleague, Maureen, that uh, will say a few things about herself and uh, some of the same things be and explain how this um, uh, small session will be wrapped today. Maureen? Thank you. So I, I share some similar themes uh, with, with Angelo about why this was important for us to come together and, and, and try and offer a forum for everyone. I am, I am a lover of the earth, so I garden, I travel a lot to see the beautiful world that's out there. And why this topic so meaningful to me now is over the course of 10 or 15 years, when I go back to places that I visited, I see huge shifts and diminished beauty, diminished animal populations, and um, to see changes. I mean, I've seen where glaciers have melted. I've seen the evidence of that. I know what it's like to go scuba diving in the, the India Pacific Ocean and come up in a sea of trash and see um, plastics floating around with the critters underneath. I've seen diminished um, diminished green things, trees in places, diminished animal, wildlife everywhere. And a lot of it can be stemmed to, it it's stems from overpopulation, but then it also stems with how we are stewards or not stewards of our earth. And I have children, I have grandchildren, and I would like to do whatever I can to preserve as much as, as as much of the beauty that we have on this planet Earth for them to enjoy as well. So that's that's what brings me to the topic. And um, I'm a firm believer in the power of one, but I also know there's great synergy that happens among all those ones that when when are when they're like minded and come together, that there can be a synergy that can be created. And and our attempt today is just to elevate all of our awareness against the topic. But I would also say I'd like you to, to ponder um, what you as an individual might do um, as a result of that awareness that gets created within you. Um, so that's a little bit about me. As I said before, I'm smack dab in the middle of the United States. Um, we're in prairie, so we don't have lots of huge trees. I certainly don't have mountains, and I do not have oceans. <laughs> And so I, that's why I travel a lot to see those things. Um, but that is where I'm from. And I, I'm involved with some efforts to help conserve um, some of the natural beauty that exists even in Kansas. So to 
today we're not going to be doing all the talking. Um, what our what our goal is is for us all to introduce ourselves with um, a few words of intention of what intention do you have for the call today? And then after we go around and have an understanding of who we have on the call, we'll move into another block of time. Um, where we'll do um, some small breakout groups where you can have a more intimate conversation to discuss how you as an individual or even collectively support um, what's needed for for diminishing the devastation that climate change can bring. And then we'll all come back together and uh, sort of have um, have a dialogue about what was discussed within the breakout groups. We only have an hour, so this is kind of an action-packed hour. Um, after after the reporting out, then we'll we'll come back and actually talk just a little bit to summarize what we hear. Um, we'll probably ask you to set some sort of intention for action um, that you can take upon leaving the call, and that, in a nutshell, is what we're we're hoping to do. So I hope this uh, resonates well with you. I hope you find some value in it, and we're looking forward to to really playing with you and exploring this topic of climate change to see how we might impact it in a positive way. So thanks and nice to meet you all. Angela, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thank you, Mark. And um, I'll let you explain how we can sort of do round robin so people can introduce themselves and use two or three words to summarize what their intention is for today's call. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, one thing that I would like to say right now is that um, the people that are not talking would be better to turn off their microphone so we will avoid the peripheral noises and uh, will, yes, mm -hmm. be too much for our ears. So uh, can I ask one by one to uh, turn on their microphone and uh, start sharing and who they are, where they come from, and what's, what's their intention. So, Eva, can you start? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I'm, um, I live in Athens, Greece, and um, uh, I was a supporter of Greenpeace for many years uh, financially, and I was always uh, kept uh, abreast of uh, what they were trying to, to do and accomplish. Um, and recently, I was shocked by uh, the amount of uh, plastic that's been in our seas. I'm being uh, a little nationalistic here, like local seas, our seas, uh, Maureen. We have seas. We have a lot of sea around <laughs> we, uh, and mountains <laughs> and islands and things. So our seas are, to me, very important because I love the sea. So my, my intention here is through coaching, because we speak to large corporations and people and executives who are decision makers uh, as coaches, um, my intention is how I can uh, make an impact through my coaching um, to uh, sensitize people, to, to make them aware of um, all the things that we can do as individuals and as a, as a community to really try to stall this crisis, because I... I, I <laughs> That's it. That's my intention. I'll close now. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. And uh, you made a clear point that you are a coach, which is uh, very useful for what we're doing. I think uh, I will add that to what we asked everybody when they're presenting themselves and stating their intentions to state, because some of you we know, but some of you we don't know. So that's we want to welcome everybody and um, understand whether you're a coach and whether you help this uh, resolve this issue by coaching or by doing something else. And I will be asking Gina Rodriguez to speak up. Welcome, Gina. I see you, you know Christina. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi, Christina and everybody. Gina, Gina, we cannot hear you. Your microphone, yes? Can you hear me now? Yes, now we can hear you. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I live in Honduras. I have a regular job and I'm also a sun coach. This is Christy Nice. And intention here is I do many things in my personal life to protect the planet and to um, save water and use less plastic um, and many, many efforts I do on my own. And I try to influence those around me. And what I'm trying to find, well, what, what I would like to take out of this meeting is new ideas of how to make a greater impact in my, in my 
our social environment. Thank you very much, Gina, and welcome. Thank you. How can I invite uh, uh, Angela Rubulio, Billy You can turn on your microphone and speak up and introduce yourself and talk about your intentions. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, perfect. Hello, I'm Angela. I'm from Greece as well. I work for the public administration and uh, this is one of the things that um, interests public administration, especially this time of uh, year, um, is how to protect the environment and how uh, to make civil servants sensitive in cases and in uh, issues concerning the environment. So um, I think this is very important what we do. I'm very happy because I'm not so um, acquainted with all this uh, new technology stuff. So I really enjoy the company and I uh, like very much um, to have met Maureen and Gina and Christina and Eva, that she also comes from Greece as well, and Angelo. Um, actually, Angela is my tutor as well. <laughs> so um, we'll see um, what happens and uh, um, in order to protect the environment and how can coaching can be a helping hand in all this uh, situation. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Angela, and uh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and the next one is Christina Campofredo. She comes from Italy and South Africa as well. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Angela, for inviting me. Yes, I'm in Italy now, but I also live in South Africa, and I just came back from South Africa where I spent about two months in the bush in the middle of the nature. I am actually uh, a coach trainer and uh, mentor coach and uh, I am developing actually a, a, a way of connecting with nature to learn from nature uh, in terms of understanding and promoting diversity and inclusion because we just have to learn from from the source of everything which is nature. So I'm here to share, to learn, uh, to um, empower this kind of energy that we, we have and that I'm sure we share with so many other people around the world, our clients, our students, and people who are interested in getting in touch with coaching. So thank you for, for organizing this call. Thank you for being with us, Christina. Uh, welcome again. Now, Catherine Andrews, would you like to speak as well? Turn on your microphone and tell us where you're from and uh, if you're a coach or not, and what's the intention for attending this uh, webinar? She may yeah. have dropped. Hello, yeah. She, she might. She, hopefully, she'll call back in. Perhaps there are connection problems. Yes. So let's do yeah. the next one. Jamie Androkai, do you hear me? Okay. Here I am. Uh, I'm a coach and uh, I have worked for uh, about 20 years in environmental protection in the past. So I think now it's a time to connect my old purpose, serving nature, and my new purpose, serving people together because I think they are connected. So I'm really interested in this uh, meeting and I'm very happy to meet you all from uh, all around the world. We're very happy to have you here, Jenny. Welcome. And we have again with us, Catherine Andrews. Do you hear us? Would you like to turn on your microphone and tell us where you're from, whether you're a coach or not, and what's your intention? Uh, let's go to the next one. So the next one would be Julia Whitney. Julia Hello, everyone. Hi, Julia. Hi. Um, so I'm a coach and I live in London in the UK. Um, and I am, my intention for this call is to learn, get a sense of community from you all and um, learn what others' experiences are in this area. My clients increasingly are bringing this issue into the coaching room and I'm increasingly wanting to find ways to act both, both in my personal life, but also in my professional life in order to make a difference. That's that's me. Thank you very much, Julian. Thank you. Welcome again. Uh, who's next? Uh, Lisa Rambruli, can you speak? Or I saw you at your room. I'd have to abstain you for a few minutes you in the chat box. Mm. So let's the next one, Meredith. Meredith Mer may be indisposed at the moment. She she has a baby that she's handling uh -huh. and says she cannot talk right now. Uh, Natalia. Natalia Geiger. I don't know if I have spelled your name. <laughs> Natalia. Yes, Geiger. That was correct. Hi, everyone. Hi. So I'm also a coach. Um, I 
specifically specialize around transpersonal coaching. And I started off more around so life coaching and then more and more into leadership. And recently I had an experience with one company where we didn't once talk about sustainability, but just through that transpersonal work of really um, elevating consciousness, of, of transcending the ego, transcending all our conditioning, um, the, the two CEOs just began to become more loving toward themselves and want to treat their employees with more compassion, et cetera, or respect. And in one of our last conversations, I was mind blown because she started talking, one of them, and they wanted to, in their values and in their actions, to start implementing things to use less plastic. And she started bringing this conversation. And so I realized how through leadership and so many of us coaches work in organizations, we have such a power to impact, and um, and I just really, really want to um, to share and so much to learn from all of you, so that together we can um, really contribute to creating a more conscious, more compassionate, and a more sustainable world. Thank you very much, Natalia. And you're Thank talking you. about a CL who's in Spain. Is that right? Yes, this was in Spain. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Wow. Very yeah, nice. And very nice to see you after Prague. Same. <laughs> so who else is? Uh... I don't know. Catherine's back on, but I don't know if she's available. And Sue is another. Sorry. Hello, this is Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Hello. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm tuning in through my mobile, yeah. and I didn't know how to turn the <laughs> muting off and on, so I apologize. Um, so also wanted to say I'm on a train, um, and I've only just joined. So if you don't mind, I'd like to come back when I'm somewhere that's slightly less noisy and introduce myself properly. Okay. Hope that makes sense. And apologies again. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so next is Sue. Hi, everybody. So um, I'm also a coach. I'm a, a, a coach. I coach from the understanding of the three principles, which is uh, very shortly, is very similar to what Natalia, you were sharing. Um, and uh, my intention for this call, I'm just bringing a whole lot of curiosity to the question, uh, the difference between uh, doing good against avoiding bad, right? That's what this calls about. Um, so I'm just I'm just here to show up and just listen and um, be saturated with that. That the whole day has been just amazing, and I yeah just want to rest in that question and exploration. Thank you very much, Sue. And you live in Amsterdam, or just outside of Holland. Oh, very nice. The Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah, so welcome. And now let's Kalio Kalio people Do you hear us? Would you like to? Share, Kalyopi, do you hear us? You can turn on your microphone and say where you come from. We come from Greece, I know you. And um, she doesn't hear us. So, okay, other people who have joined, Anna, Gloves. Hello, Anna. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello. Very, very good. Anna, could you share your intention of what you'd like to get out of the call today? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love the subject and I would like to know um, what can I do, what are, what are the ideas, worldwide ideas connected with coaching and the planet. It's what I wanted to have and to share. Thank you very much, Annette. Thank you. You're connecting through uh, from... Uh... From Lisbon, Portugal, Lisbon. Portugal. Great. Very good. So, Angelo, we're kind of past a little bit of time when we wanted to get to breakouts and for those that were having connection problems with introducing yourselves, you might have an opportunity in breakout rooms. So um, we're hoping to create um, more in-depth discussion with smaller groups. So Angelo will be setting up breakout rooms. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's go on. Um, so, uh, so we'll stick with the topic, doing good, avoiding bad, and, and it sounds like most of us are coaches. Um, so in the discussion, just address ideas collectively about how to do good, avoid bad, whether it's using coaching or your own personal actions. So, um, We'll have a time constraint on that of about 12 minutes. And then Angela will bring us back. And uh, in each group, I'll elect a spokesperson to take notes and then report back to the group as to some of the uh, things that the group thought they could do. Make sense? So how many minutes did you say, Maureen? And I can do about 12 because we're running a little slow and we want to have plenty of dialogue afterwards as well. Okay, so let's create four rooms with three to four mm -hmm. participants per room, right? Okay. 
and we'll get you back in uh, a few minutes. Do you see an invitation for a breakout room on your screen? No. no. You don't. Thank you. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> okay, so after uh, I'm not sure. In minutes. And Angelo, if we have trouble creating the breakout rooms, we have a small enough group, I think, as long as we monitor time so we're conscious of everybody's calendar um, to just open the floor as well. Uh, just uh, assigning people to the rooms. Okay. And uh, I'm opening the rooms. We'll come back. So we adjust the two of us, but the other ones are coming back. Yes. The other ones they have. Well, everybody will come back now. It's a very interesting discussion. I just like uh, to get together to discuss about this topic and, uh, yeah, about doing something, doing good instead of avoiding. It's so much powerful. Hello, we're back in the main room. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. We are waiting everybody to join. Yeah. How much time do we have left? Uh, to it for everybody to join less than fifty seconds. I mean, for the for the call to finish. Uh, we will have to finish at five to the hour, five minutes to the hour. So wow. now it's twenty forty two. So it's we're okay. born. Maureen, we you are speaking, I guess. Sorry, yeah, it, what put me on mute? <laughs> um, we probably got about ten minutes, kind of, to just do a quick shout out and then kind of wrap things up. Would you agree? Yes, I do. Okay, which won't do service to all the rich dialogue we had in just 12 minutes. But all right, I'll let you facilitate the feedback, Angelo, from the groups. Okay, so uh, who will speak from the first group? Julia. Okay, come on, Julia. So we were actually group three. I'm giving my son a cough, so you hear him coughing in the background. Um, we were group three, and um, we uh, started our conversation with... Uh, talking about uh, avoiding bad. So we were talking about reducing our consumption of resources. In specific, we talked about diminishing paper use. So one of our members of uh, was a um, comes from an area of the world where it's uh, culturally, it seems very important to have a piece of paper in front of you or to give the client information on a piece of paper. So we were exploring ways to diminish that. Some and other people in our group were talking about using instead of paper contracts, using PDF contracts where you can get a signature on the PDF contract. Um, we were talking about uh, doing a lot of things that you might normally do with paper via email, etc. So that was one thing that we talked about. Another thing we talked about reducing was um for me this it, it was me who brought this up uh air travel so i as a coach i speak at conferences and that's one of the ways that i do my marketing um but sometimes for example you know i'm invited to speak, like speak in san francisco I, I do a lot of coaching in the software development industry and obviously san francisco is a place where a lot of those conferences are happening and it's good for my reputation etc so i really struggled with that one um and um but through the course of the conversation i started thinking about how i might just stop doing that and focus only on conference activity closer to home or potentially try to develop a new format that involved maybe a really highly produced video of me doing my presentation and then some sort of video link up for questions afterwards and that kind of thing. Of course, the conversation I started thinking about how I might just stop doing that and focus only on commerce activity close I should send it back. <laughs> oh, is it is it Calliope? Maybe if you put your um you mute on? Oh, okay, great. So anyway, yeah, that was weird. I heard my own voice. Um, <laughs> but, um, and then we moved on to talking about how we, you know, what ways we could, we only started talking about this, but how, what ways could we reuse things? Could we, you know, could we serve as a model for others and tour? Oh, is it, and Calliope, maybe if you put your, um, do you, Mute on. Oh. Okay. I know what you're thinking, Julia. You're waiting for your your you you're waiting yourself to stop talking. Yes. Confusing. Yeah. I tried to mute the people that get unmuted and so hey, please go back. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm finished with our group's contribution. Great, 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 great. You shall thank you very much. Who is going to speak from the next group? What what is the next group? Well, let's say your group. Proceed. Okay, my group. I, <laughs> I guess it's you, Christine. My, with Catherine and Eva probably left, or I mean, I can't see her name. 
But we were talking about, yeah, doing good versus avoiding bad and not really what specifically we can do, but what we think it is and uh, the implications about doing good and avoiding bad. And um, as coaches, I mean, the focus is on doing good because we focus on what we want to create and not what we want to avoid, which is quite obvious, but uh, and it is more empowering. And um, yeah, what we shared, uh, it was you know, the impact that we can have on operation and uh, clients in, in in the corporate world, but also life coaching. And I, what I shared is also that our profession is already about empowering our client in doing something, in promoting something new, some change. So we already have Inspower and Embed in what we do in our profession uh, in order to uh, uh, promote awareness, not how to do that, but the awareness of the possibility to choose something different. And then it came out with the word courage, because it takes courage to take new actions, to to do something good, something new. And the courage is, it has the, the, the word core in it. So it's an action from the heart. So we're developing these, uh, these idea, this reasoning process. And uh, yeah, I think quite aware that we can really be a mean of uh, empowerment for those who want to change something and do some good for the climate. Thank you very much, Christina. Well, that's beautiful. So, Maureen, do you want to facilitate? Yeah, I will. So, uh, we were a group of three, Calliope, Lisa, and I. We, too, started with the avoid part, and we didn't focus on paper. I really like that one because that didn't come up. We started off with avoiding things like one use of a, a plastic item, like plastic straws, paper, you know, plastic plates or whatever. We also focused on um, uh, avoiding wasting resources such as fuel, water, the electricity to light your home or whatever heating in your home, turn your thermostat down to keep it cooler in the winter or raise it to keep it warmer in in the summer and to avoid wasting, avoid just throwing things in the trash to recycle as much as possible. And then we kind of got into the cultivation of land because there's a lot of waste in the cultivation of land and the food it produces. So we started on a spin of how to reduce waste of food. Um, uh, one other thing we talked about was um, avoiding chemical or non-natural means to um, be stewards of the land. So that could either be in keeping a healthy soil, healthy animals, but sometimes um, there are chemicals that have un unwanted consequences for wildlife, which is part of the chain that keeps the whole environment healthy. And then we shifted over for doing good. This one was really interesting from Goliathy about vote. You should power a vote for your leaders based on their position for climate change support a larger movement somewhere in your community, um, support clean energy resources such as solar, wind, and water-powered um, generation of energy. I love planting trees because they take in carbon and they're very efficient scrubbers of carbon and then release oxygen. And right now the world is busy taking those trees out in part to produce that paper, right? <laughs> but sometimes it's just to clear land, um, more and more land to produce more and more food, maybe not um, very effectively. And then we talked about using natural and organic means to sustain agriculture and the environment. And then lastly, we touched on what could we do as a coach? So we talked about group coaching. We certainly know how to motivate, as somebody already mentioned, um, people that we interact with. And we felt like raising awareness, just like we're trying to do with each other today, um, is important to set the stage and create the vision. But then there should be some way to drive action because a vision is lovely, but without action, it will never manifest. And so that's kind of the sum of what we've done. Thank you very much, Maureen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's going to speak from the next group we had? Natalia, is that you? Is that us? Yeah. Sue, do you want to speak or do you, because we didn't decide who was going to speak. I'm happy for you to speak or we can do it together. I know you said one, but there are only two of us in the group. Okay. Yeah. So you, go, you go. Okay. Yeah, go and please pitch in if I miss something or don't articulate something precisely as we spoke about it. So um, we focused less on the avoiding bad and mostly on the doing good piece. I think because I understood the avoiding bad as um, more as coming from a place of fear 
now marine as you just spoke about it i get what you meant by it and so um in doing good um we spoke about how um we can as coaches have the intention of wanting to um support people in their awakening and in elevating their consciousness through awareness um however remembering that it's important so that it's done with compassion from where they are at and um and sort of parallel to that how um if we as coaches now to the personal action right if we as coaches we're doing our own inner work and um therefore we are becoming more conscious um since what happens is that we're connecting more to that cur to that heart to that love right that universal energy we radiate it more and it's then more present in that space and so then we're supporting people from that energy to create new ways of being that then from that place they without us having to talk about specific action it sort of naturally then comes from them to choose more consciously um uh, i think that was what i remember anything you want to add to that sue um you did that beautifully I'm so glad you did because my brain has switched off. <laughs> I, I am excited to, to, to witness the enthusiasm and uh, how willingly coming together in this group. Uh, now I understand, Maureen, that for sure we needed to have double the time to, to facilitate. I told you it would fly by. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. But, but I, this it, was fabulous. This was fabulous. I think we, we, we did something and... Uh, we have talked about it with Marina. We'll be, we'll be excited if this uh, little webinar of today will encourage any one of you and uh, host the next one whenever you, you think it's uh, appropriate and we'll be glad to join you. Um, so our intent was really just to set the spark and in, in whoever could show up. So we would love, love, love for you to take this forward and, and include us in the invite to see what we could do to keep keep this moving forward. Well, thank you so much for organizing this. You really managed to light the spark on. Thank you very much, Christina. Thank you very much, Julia, for oh, ending and and the chat books. And thank you so much for bringing some of us together because everything that we're talking about, yes, on its own is essential and important because it all adds up. But as, as human beings and together with being coaches, the more of us... Mm-hmm. We align with this mission, with this vision. What we can really do is, I think it's beyond what we can even imagine right now. So thank you. Agree. Thank you. Okay. That shit that I saw again, familiar faces, and that I got to meet people that I didn't know. So at this point, so I'm very happy that we had this, let's say this initial conversation about things that matter. And these are so important. And uh, as coaches, we I think we have we have the wings. And if you have the wings, you gotta fly. True, so true. Let's keep in touch. Yes. Amen. We will be sending you uh, the link with a recording in case you want to access that again and uh, dig on the insights and the idea. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.